Dynamic Seminars, the management and training consultancy presents Southern Africa's leading success lecturers. everybody guys that was terrible for a Wednesday morning morning everybody morning. Good morning and welcome to conflict management can I start off just by asking you a question can I see with a show of hands those people in the room that have conflict in their lives can I see your hands please uh, by the way if you didn't put up your hand you did not understand the question all right uh, every one of us has conflict in our lives. Conflict is very much a part of our lives. The only non-negotiable rule today, everything's negotiable, one thing's not negotiable, and that is you've got to have fun. You know, the learning experience can be this heavy kind of experience where the lecturer goes and stands behind the podium and about three minutes later you fall asleep and three hours later you go home. All right? Or alternatively, we can laugh, we can enjoy ourselves. Are you all happy with that? Fabulous. Question time at 10 o'clock when we stop. I'm available for questions. Once again, 12 o'clock, available for questions. Are we all happy? Let's start off talking about conflict management. And I'd like to start by asking you maybe what is a bit of a dumb question. And the question is, is a conflict good or bad? Now, the reason why that is a bit of a dumb question is because as, as you look at the question, you say to yourself, yeah, are you crazy? You know, what, what are you saying? Are you saying that conflict might be good? Let me see. Who thinks that conflict might be good? Whoops, I'll batch you. Who says that conflict might be bad? Okay, well, make up your minds either this way or there. You've you know, got to get somewhere. All right. People, is conflict good or bad? Let's have a look. Let's, first of all, I don't think anybody would disagree that conflict that is badly managed is bad, all right? In other words, what we're saying is that if you come up to a person and say, right, see it my way, give a clap, right? Uh, that is really not a very, very good way of managing conflict. If you do manage conflict in that manner, we're going to find that it's bad. Is that the worst? And the answer is no, it's not the worst. There's actually one worse than that. And that is conflict that is left unmanaged. Conflict that is left unmanaged. Some people have this attitude towards conflict that if you ignore conflict, don't worry, it will just go away. That is about as intelligent as saying that if you've got an ugly septic sore on your hand, all you really need to do is put a flesh-colored plaster onto it, and look, the sore's gone away, hasn't it? And then when the hand falls off because of gangrene, we say, hey, gee whiz, we had a problem, didn't we? Okay, so we understand that conflict that is badly managed is bad. Conflict that is left unmanaged is even worse because what happens, it simply just builds and builds until it becomes explosive. We'll talk about that more just now. But we understand that conflict that is well managed is good. Conflict that is well managed is good. What are we saying? That if everybody is agreeing with everybody all of the time, there is no platform for growth. We, in fact, have to take this one step further. And so not only is conflict that is well managed good, but take it to the next level and say, you know what? It's actually essential. It's essential for growth and development. Can you imagine if everybody's going around hugging one another? Isn't life fantastic? Let's go and play golf and go out for lunch. Right? No, there is no conflict, but there's also no room for growth. Where do we have growth? Stephen sees it one way. I see it differently. And together we manage to functionally, you hear the word functionally, work towards managing the conflict. Now, let me just tell you when we are going to have the solution. We are going to be going through three hours of material and right at the very end, 10 minutes before we stop, I present something called the leader's formula. Right? The leader's formula is the formula for managing conflict. Okay? So we have to go through uh, around about two and three quarter hours until we reach the point where we come to the leader's formula. That is the piece where we actually learn how to manage conflict in the last 10 minutes. And 
In that last 10 minutes, the last point of the leader's formula, which is the letter S at the end, the leaders, the S at the end, that is the absolute prime key. Okay, so, so where do we get the tools right at the very, very end? So you might well say, well, okay, why don't we just crunch a three-hour seminar down into 10 minutes, let's have the leader's formula, and let's all go home. The answer is that it can't make any sense without the background. Right? We've got to create a foundation, we've got to build to be able to come to the leader's formula, to be able to come to the letter S at the end of the formula, to be able to effectively manage our conflict. All right, so let's go. Why do we have conflict? Why do we have conflict? So uh, the reason why we have conflict is that when we're involved in a conflict situation, I want things and you want things, right? So now, let's have a look why conflict happens. There are two separate sides to this, and we can have a look at this virtually as a set of scales, right? On the one hand, what do I want? I want what I want. Right? I want to achieve what I want to achieve. Now, I don't care what the heck you want, I want what I want, and you be damned. <clears throat> well, is that an approach towards conflict? Yes, it is an approach. Is it a good approach? The answer is no, it's a lousy approach. It's a lousy approach. Let's see what is the other side. I said we've got a set of balances over here. On the one side, achieving my personal goal. There's a very simple method of achieving a personal goal, and that is go up to the other person, take a 357 Magnum, cock it, put it at their head, and say, hey, see it my way. Right? Is the other person going to see it your way? And the answer is, you better believe it. The opposite side, though, is I've got to deal with you tomorrow. I've got to work with you. I've got to live with you tomorrow. Right? So understand that as much 